Hi, I'm Matt White. I'm an environmental psychologist at the European Centre for Environment and Human Health and the University of Exeter Medical School. And we've just published some research looking at people's mental well-being um, and how close they live to different types of green space. So for example, parks and forests and so on. And basically what we found is in years when they lived closest to parks and woodlands, their mental health was higher than in the years when they lived in more urban areas uh, with more built up uh, environments. Okay, so what we've done is we've built on past research, which has looked at cross-sectional data, correlational data, which has found that people who live in greener areas tend to have better mental and physical health. The trouble with that research is that we don't know if happier people move to greener areas or moving to greener areas makes people happier. We were able to get around that issue by following the same 12,000 people over an 18 year period as they moved around England. So if they moved to a greener area, more rural area, then their mental health got better. As they moved into the city, their mental health got worse over time. Okay, so we were looking at two things in particular. We were looking at mental distress, so people report how unhappy or distressed they've been feeling over the last two or three weeks. And we were also looking at a positive outcome, life satisfaction. So overall, all things considered in your life, how happy would you say you are, how, how satisfied with your life? And what we found is that in the years when people were living in greener areas, their mental distress was lower, there was less sort of depression, and their life satisfaction was higher. They were happier with their overall life. So how big were our effects, you might say? Well, we know that certain things about life make people happier or less, de or, or, or less depressed. So getting married, for example, decreases depression, increases life satisfaction. Finding a job when you're unemployed, obviously, also decreases stress, increases life satisfaction. So how big were our effects relative to those? Well, quite big, actually. So moving from an area of relatively little green space to moving to an area of a lot of green space has about a third the effect of actually becoming married and about a tenth of the effect from becoming unemployed to employed. So these effects are really quite large. And what we're interested in for policy makers is, well, for example, do you leave a park alone or introduce a park in an urban area? Or do you, for example, promote industry and the job creation and this kind of thing? So there's those kind of trade-offs that policy makers have to make. And our data provides much more robust estimates for them about the benefits of green space to local populations. Because ultimately, of course, becoming married is good for the well-being of a few people, whereas a park in the middle of a city can affect thousands of people. So the benefits might be smaller for any given individual, but at a population level, they could be really substantial.